You're high, but two inches. High into the right. Hit it. My name is Lynn Thompson. I'm the president of Cold Steel Incorporated. We make the world's strongest, sharpest knives and swords and edge weapons and tools. I try to live as a warrior. I train and practice to um, use all types of weapons, including empty hands all the way up to the latest in firearms to defend myself, my family, my community, and my nation. And I make no apology for it. Well, one of my heroes is King David. He's the only man in the Bible that God said was a man after his own heart, but he was a man of the sword and he was a warrior. And of all the people in the Bible, who did God say? There's only one man, he says, that's a man after my own heart, the Lord said, and that was David. Hey, anybody that knocks somebody down that weighs, that's nine and a half feet tall, probably weighed 500 pounds, knocks him down, runs up, cuts their head off with a sword, he's my kind of guy. I've always admired the personal skill at arms of the warrior, the ancient warrior, and I try to live my life in the same fashion. My goal is to obtain those same skill at arms and have the same physical abilities as the heroes of old. Sometimes people ask me why I hunt, and particularly why I hunt with a handgun or a spear or a knife. Why do I put myself in such danger? And I think it's important for warriors to test themselves. So I test my training, particularly my training with a firearm, I, with hunting dangerous game, game that can kill me. It tests my own internal fortitude, my, my spirit, uh, my temperament, my nerves. They're all tested by these big game hunting trips. One of the opportunities that you get in hunting is you get experience with killing and you learn how to kill uh, and not have your emotions uh, take over and destroy you and to lose your composure. You have to be able to keep your composure, control your emotions, control your spirit, uh, and perform in spite of danger, in spite of fear, in spite of everything going on around you. Uh, I've killed uh, a lot of people don't the danger know, seven, don't which is a rhinoceros, an elephant, a hippo, a crocodile, a cape buffalo, a lion, and a leopard. The Bible says when an armed man, fully armed, sits alert in his house, ready to defend it, no thief wants to break in. And so I say the same thing. If you're a warrior, or um, who wants to mess with your family? Who wants to mess with your community? Who wants to mess with your country? You know, I guess part of the reason I started at such an early age is look at me. I'm not skinny, you know? I was always a chubby kid, and uh, everyone picked on me. I mean, I got hassled, and, and people tried to pick fights with me and called names and all this stuff. And at a very early age, I started fighting back. I said, I'm not going to take it anymore. I've had a lot of heat and pressure since I was a, a small child. 13, my dad got a brain tumor, and I was on my own. I provided myself with all my own clothes and a lot of my own expenses I took care of myself. I put myself to private universities with my own uh, funds. I worked for it, I saved for it, and I overcame a lot, and that's really helped me in life. Your challenge may not be mine. My challenge is very martial in nature. It might not be your nature to do that. But I think everybody today, wherever you live, should as uh, ascribe to be a warrior. They should have some self-defense skills, some skill with weapons. So if the shit hits the fan, they're not a useless fly on the wall. They're a soldier that can fill the gap in the wall and protect their family and their community and their country. <laughs> Go look here anyway.